everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it today because I think that's always the best thing to do and not do a massive long intro. Um, I wanted to show you guys my full shoe collection because I thought it might be a little bit interesting. I always enjoy watching videos like this where someone shows like a full collection of one item in their wardrobe. Um, and shoes are always a really good one because they have to cover like so many different types of weather and seasons and stuff. So, I thought I would show you my entire shoe collection. I also did a little vote on my Instagram stories and it got like 100% that everybody wanted to see it. So, here we are. Um, so, yes, let's get started, shall we? So, I'm going to do these in categories of shoes and we're going to start off with canvas shoes. Um, so, my first ones that I'm going to show you are my Converse's. Um, I have two pairs of Converse, and this is the first pair that I'm going to show you. So these are the canvas, I'm just going to pick up one at a time. These are the canvas, no, the Converse Chuck Taylor 70s. And I personally only get the Chuck Taylor 70s because they're my favourite style of Converse. Um, they're slightly different to the original Converse, they tend to have a slightly thicker platform, they also tend to only have um, one black stripe going around the sole rather than the blue and red, which I think is on the classic ones. And also the other difference is um, the logo is like, um, like a piece of leather stitched on, so it's like a patch rather than the printed um, logo that's on the original Converse's, which I just think looks a little less worth the money that you're paying for them. Um, I just prefer that it's like a patch that's like in, like stitched on. I think it just looks so much better um, rather than the printed version. So I tend to only get the Chuck Taylor 70s um, and those are my favourites. But this is, I think these ones are called the Happy Camper. But I'm sure if you just typed in like smiley face converse, these would come up. Um, because they've got, I'm going to hold it up close, they've got little smiley faces all over them and they make me so happy. If you know me in real life, you'll know that I love anything with smiley faces on. They just make me instantly smile. Um, so I had to get these when I saw them. Uh, at the moment, I've got the original black laces in them, but I may change those over in the summer. Um, during the winter, these have been fine with the black laces. They kind of suit it with like a pair of jeans and stuff. But I think in the summer, if I'm wearing these with like a little skirt or something, um, I might put white laces in them. But I think these retail for between 60 and 70 pounds, but I actually got them in the Converse sale. Oh no, it was the size sale. Um, and I got them for 40 pounds, so I was well chuffed with that. And so far I would highly recommend them. I know that lo lots of people find Converse quite uncomfortable and feel that they have to break them in, but I've actually never experienced that. I've always found Converse really, really comfy. So um, yeah, that's my first pair of Converse. Next up, we have the black Converse, and these are also Chuck Taylor 70s. So these aren't the original black Converse. As you can see, the difference is they've got um, just the one black stripe along the platform, and then the embroidered logo on here. So it's like an embossed leather patch that's stitched on, rather than the printed, like I said before. Um, I just much prefer the Chuck Taylor 70s. I just think they look a bit more... A bit more, ex I think they just look a bit more expensive than the classic ones, so I just tend to always go for these. So these are the black with the contrast stitching, it's got the white stitching instead of um, black stitching. And then, yeah, the logo is like an embossed white logo. And these are so classic, honestly, they go with so many outfits, I wear these all the time. Um, these are slightly thinner canvas than the Happy Camper ones, I don't know why. I'd, actually, it might just be that I've really worn them in, but um, they feel like slightly thinner. But yeah, absolutely highly recommend these. I think Converse is such a great shoe. I just love how they look with like a classic t-shirt and jeans. Um, I try and keep it like a bit more of like a Scandinavian style look when I'm wearing my Converse, but that's kind of like my look anyway. So yeah, easily done. So um, yeah, I think these were £70 when I bought them as well. Okay, and the next brand of canvas shoe that I love is Vasia, and I have two pairs of Vasias as well. Um, these are the first pair. So these are, can I remember? These are the Vasia Nova Hive Tops, I think. Um, so the Nova has this arched toe cap. Um, 
which is like a rainbow shape, like an arch, um, rather than like the straight across toe cap, and I think that's the difference between the two. Um, so yeah, these are the Vasion Novas, but with the high top, and I absolutely adore these shoes. Like these are probably my favourite canvas shoes that I own, and they probably definitely are the most worn as well. They literally go with everything. They have the um, Vasion V logo on the side in the cream, and these have like more of like a yellowed sole, um, but they came that way. That's not just like oh, from wearing them. Um, they've always been like that. But yeah. I absolutely adore these. I think if I was to compare them to the Converse, I think they have a slightly, yeah, a slightly shorter high top, which I actually quite like because it just shows a bit of sock between the shoe and the jean, um, which I quite like that look. But these, yeah, honestly, probably my most favorite shoe. I'm trying to remember how much these are, I think. I kind of want to say they're like £80. Um, so a little bit more expensive than the Converse, but they are sustainably made, um, I think, for the most part. I think this is recycled rubber, um, and the canvas is organic cotton, if I remember correctly. Um, high, totally worth the money, in my opinion, and like I say, I've got two beiges, and these were actually the second pair that I bought, so completely a fan of the brand um, and would highly recommend these and these yeah like I say definitely my favorite canvas shoe that I own next up we have another pair of Vasia's and these are the Vasia Waters um, and it's spelled W-A-T-A -A. Uh, these are the low ones so obviously these don't have the high top and then the water has the straight across toe cap much like a converse um, but it's, I think it's slightly deeper than a converse one um, and these have the leather V on um, in the black. If you look at the difference between these and the Novas, so I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. Um, this V is like printed on. Um, it's just like a very thin rubber printed, whereas this is like an embossed bit of leather. You can even see how it shows through the sole there. So it's like a thick bit of leather um, in a black. And I absolutely love these. These for me are more of like a spring summer shoe. I tend not to wear these in the winter, mainly because they're, they're low. And I just feel like I just tend to wear um, high tops most in the winter, just to like give my ankles a bit more protection. And these honestly look so cool with like shorts and skirts and stuff because they're kind of, they're basically like little tennis plimsolls. Um, and I absolutely love them. Highly, highly recommend. Um, and you can see they've got more of like a cream sole rather than a yellow sole like the uh, Novas. Um, there is a slight difference in colour there. And they came that way, that's not from wear or anything like that. But yeah, I want to say that these were about £80 as well or maybe £70. Um, and again, I would highly recommend them. I think they're worth every penny. If you can try and get them in the sale, then that's a really good way of doing it. I actually got, I've just remembered, I actually got these in the net porter sale for £20, down from 80 I'm sure they're 80 Something in my head is saying they're 120 but actually I think that's just my brain remembering the 20 part because I got these for 20 quid. I nearly fell over. Um, and they only had my size left as well and it was like the last box as well, so I was very happy. But yeah. Highly, highly recommend Veja. I think they're a fantastic brand and a few of their pieces are sustainable as well. I don't think all of their shoes are because I know this bit is leather, so that's not completely vegan, but I think the rest of it is um, recycled and organic in some sort of way. Okay, and then my last canvas shoe is from Vans, and these are actually my only pair of Vans. So these are the Vans slip-ons in the white. Um, I actually love these shoes, and I want to wear them so much more than I do, but I just find myself never grabbing them for some reason. I think I just find the others so much more easier to style than these for some reason. Um, but these are the white slip-ons with the rubber sole. Is that correct? I mean, obviously all soles are rubber, but like, oh, the it's called the gum sole or something. It's like the yellow coloured one, basically. Um, absolutely love these. I think these retail for between 40 and 50 pounds, but I actually got these for 13 quid in the Urban Outfitters sale. <laughs> um, these are actually, I want to say these are actually a size three as well. I think I went down a size because they were the last pair left, but they fit fine. Um, 
And again, I tend to wear these more in the summer just because obviously they don't really protect your feet from the cold at all. Um, and my feet get quite cold in them. But yeah, I tend to wear these in the summer with shorts and skirts and stuff. They look super cute with like a skirt and a t-shirt. So these are easier to style in the spring and summer, I think, which is probably why I haven't worn them for a couple of months. Okay, next up, we're just going to go on to like normal trainers. And the first brand I'm going to start with is New Balance, which is probably probably overtaken nike in my favorite trainer brand now so the first ones i've got to show you i actually don't know which number these are because i didn't even like go out looking for these um these are the first pair of new balances that i ever bought actually and i absolutely love them they're like a very classic new balance style um super super classic but yeah i don't know which number these are oh it says on them 996 these are the new balance 996 that's hilarious because i swear every youtube video or like blog post these are featured in i've just like never known the number so i've not linked them and it's literally been on the tongue of the shoe this entire time but it's very pale <laughs> um so these are the new balance 996 <laughs> and i didn't go out looking for these like i said i found these in the urban outfitted sale as well and i think these were also 13 pounds or something around that mark and I had to get them because I just thought they're so classic I absolutely love these trainers um like I say although I didn't go out looking for them they because like sometimes when you know that you want a trainer and you have to like go on the chase for it you love it even more but even though I didn't particularly have any idea about these before I got them I absolutely love them um they're just such a classic like new balance shape they're probably like the most classic ones that i own out of all of my new balances so yeah really really love these um they've got just like a taupe and cream color on them and then the n has like little zigzaggy markings on it but i absolutely love these i don't know how much they actually retail for but i would imagine somewhere around the 60 pound mark um but like i say i got them for 13 in the urban outfit to sell and these are a size four which is my true size and they fit perfectly <laughs> these are so so mucky i really need to like clean my shoes um next up we have the new balance 608s these are obviously they, these were huge last year um and i actually wanted them in the white and navy but i found these on depop for 25 pounds brand new in the box with the stuffing still in them they've never been worn outside so uh, to save the money i ended up getting these ones these are just the white and beige ones and i still absolutely love them i've had so much wear out of them um and i think they're great they're such a comfortable trainer definitely probably my most comfortable trainer that i own actually um i absolutely love these but yeah, I did originally want them in the white and navy, and I'm still, I still might get them in the white and navy. I need to have a look at um, Depop and see if any of see if any have come up recently. But yeah, highly recommend these two. I believe they retail for about eighty pounds, but like I said, I got them on Depop brand new for twenty five quid. Okay, and next up, probably. Probably my favourite out of all my new balances, even though I do love those first ones that I showed you because they're just so classic. These are the New Balance 327s, are they? 273? 327? I think 327. I will link everything down below so you'll have it anyway. But these are the 327s. These are the new New Balances that came out this year. Absolutely stunning. You've probably seen them everywhere. They've got like the really um, interesting shape to them and the sole goes up the back. Um, you've probably seen these everywhere already. These particular ones are the collaboration with Levi. Actually, if I show you the other one, it's got the Levi tab on it and the Levi denim as well. So that's what's interesting about these ones is that and they're inverted. So it's like white and beige that side and then blue and beige that side with the denim. And you can see the tab. Um, absolutely love these i was on the lookout to get i was going to get these brand new i think brand new these retail for 120 pounds because they're a collaboration piece new balance did the 327s in like i think there's like seven different colorways now there's probably more actually um of just new balance colorways 
and then they did separate collaborations of the 327s with various brands so there's one with like Casablanca which is probably the most famous one um Levi's I know there's a couple more but I can't think of all of them um so there's lots of different types of the 327s so there's literally something for everybody um I didn't purposely go out looking for the Levi collaboration as such um I was just looking to get my hands on a pair in a colourway that I liked and I happened to come across these on Depop for £60 brand new um, and I think they retail somewhere between, I think the normal colourway um, 327s are £80 and then the collaborations are 120 upwards um, depending on what collab you get. So I found these brand new on Depop for 60 so I nabbed them. Um, and I'm very very happy with them. I think they are ever so cool and yeah Really really love them. Although everyone and their mum has them now <laughs> Okay on to Nike. I'm trying to be quite quick because I've got so many shoes to get through um, On to Nike. These are the Nike Airs um, These are the Nike Air Max aren't they? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, the Nike Air Max um, Absolutely love these shoes. They're the classic ones with like the see-through uh, part in them you can see all the way through but not really um because mine are dirty <laughs> um and i just love the design of these they're so classic they're such a classic nike shoe i think everybody has these as well um i originally wanted these in the white and orange but they only do those in men's sizes which i was very disappointed about and i am a size four so they don't do the white and orange ones in female sizes which Sorry guys, my memory card just got full, so I had to delete a load of stuff off it. Um, but yeah, highly recommend these. I can't remember how much I paid for them. Probably around the £80 mark again. Um, but yeah, super recommend those. And then up next, my other pair of Nikes are the classic Nike Air Force Ones um, with some sand on them. Um, yeah, absolutely love these too. I actually have two pairs of these. I have one that is absolutely battered from wearing them to a club on new year's eve one year and they are disgusting like so much beer and vodka is on them it's unbelievable um so i bought a new pair luckily i can get these in the kids section for 50 quid because i have such small feet um but yeah all of these are in a size four as well and they all fit true to size highly recommend these if you just want a classic pair of nikes these are the way to go really Okay, next up guys is probably the category you've all been waiting for. It's my Croc collection. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with my Croc boots because I feel like those are the ones that uh, people might not have seen before. I have to warn you now, they're so muddy because I wear these to work a lot um, because they're just so good for like, if you don't know, I do 35 hours a week as a nanny. Um, and these boots have been amazing at work because I do a lot of stuff in sand pits and mud and parks and fields and stuff like that. So they are horrendously dirty and I do apologise. But these are the Croc boots. So these are the Croc band boots. I think that's their proper name because they have the band along the bottom. Very Converse-esque, that band. Um, so yes, so... The bottom part is like an original croc, but without the holes, of course, because these are waterproof boots. Uh, and then they have really good grip on the bottom, the uh, croc logo on the back. And then this upper part is like a ribbed nylon, and inside they're furry. But they're furry to about this far down, and then the rest of the shoe is fleece lined. So they are so warm, I can't even tell you. Like, I've worn these in the snow, in the rain, um, in all bad weather, and they've been absolutely fantastic. I highly, highly recommend these. I know they're not particularly the most lovely looking boots, um, and I do agree that they are, like, not particularly great looking, but highly, highly worth it if you want a waterproof boot that's going to really last. Um, Crocs also do welly boots as well and they are supposed to be very good but I don't actually own any. These retail for £60 um, because I guess most Crocs are around the £40 mark so this bit's like 14 and you're paying 20 for the upper bit. Um, so these retail for 60 but I actually got these in the sale for £30 so do keep an eye out for the sales because you can get really really good deals on Crocs in their sales. So those are the boots. 
Next up, we'll go on to my, these are the Croc Bayer bands. So they are a cross between the Bayer, which have like this ribbed marking on the top, and a cross between the band, uh, the Croc band, Crocs. There's lots of words going on here. So these are a combination of the two. So they have the stripe around the bottom, like the Croc band Crocs, and then the Bayer detailing on top and the Bayer logo on the side. Um, absolutely love these again. These ones I wear with like actual outfits. I wear them as normal shoes. I don't wear them just around the house. As you can see, I've got lots of gibbets. Um, let me show you each shoe. So these are the white and navy colorway, by the way. So I've got this alien one, which actually glows in the dark, but I, it'd be a bit hard to show you that right now. A little planet and then Daisy Duck. So those are the gibbets. They do deals on the gibbets all the time as well. So they're really, really good to get, just to like jazz up a shoe. This is the little coffee cup, little R, and then this one says forever, and it's like half a heart. And my friend Lucy has the other half that says friends forever, all together, so super cute. Um, yeah, love those ones. I also have those in orange with other gibbets on, but they're at work because I wear those as slippers around my around, around the house where I nanny, so I don't have those to show you. Next up are my newest pair of Crocs. These are the Croc Neo Puffs in the khaki green. Absolutely love these. These are probably my favorite Crocs that I own, to be honest. Um, they're a lot more easier to style than the Bayer Bands, I would say. And I'm actually thinking of getting just another pair of classic Crocs. Um, I'll show you my pair of classics in a moment, but yeah, these have made me want another pair of just classics actually probably another pair of neo puffs because i absolutely love these so these are to show you the difference obviously they've not got the logo on they've not got the flat bottom as well if you can see they've got the arch in so that's different um and if i show you against my classic crocs they are literally a pair of classic crocs but with the puffs on top that's all that's all that's different um so yeah, absolutely lovely, so so comfortable, love the puff on top, super cool, uh, really easy to style. These actually look like cool shoes when you style them with an outfit, whereas these are obviously a little bit out there, you know, they say Crocs in massive letters, I've got gibbets on them and stuff. Um, they do look cool in an outfit, don't get me wrong, but these actually look like, they kind of remind me of things that like Clark's Originals do or like Norse Projects and stuff because... I know that they've done like some rubberized or uh, like gum sole shoes before those brands and they kind of remind me of something like that. So yeah, these are just a lot easier to style, I think. Um, and they're just a bit more classic. If you do have gibbets, there are gibbet holes on the strap on these, because obviously you can't put them in this bit, but I just leave these ones plain as is. Um, one thing I will say quickly about Crocs, always size up. So I am a UK four, these are UK five. I accidentally got these in a four because I am just so used to clicking four and you can see they are ever so slightly smaller. Um, so these are a little bit tight on me, but they will be fine because I'm just gonna wear them in basically and they'll soften because they're made of foam. But yeah, just one thing, definitely size up. Um, but yeah, these are probably my favourites. These retail for, I think, nearly 50 quid. But I got them in the sale for £19. So I was very happy about that. And then we've just got my classic Crocs. I just wear these around the house. These are my house slippers now. Um, I've had these Crocs for 11 years and they still look as good as new. These are in the grey. I'm not even sure they actually do this colour anymore. Um, so this might be like a discontinued colour, but they're just grey ones. Uh, I, these are the classic Crocs, like the first ever Croc, um, and I really want to get these in another colour because I feel like I, I, I don't actually have a pair of classic Crocs that I wear out because these are my indoor ones. I just feel like these are too much of a boring colour to really wear outdoors. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to get another pair of classics in maybe like the lilac colour because they're really pretty. Or maybe just the white, because they're cool too. But yeah, that's my thought process, but I just wear these around the house. Okay, and now we are on to the last category, which is just miscellaneous, really. Um, 
there is a little bit of a theme there's kind of like three subcategories in this category um so yeah i'll just go through them so i'm going to start off with my two designer shoes um these are the two shoes that i have that are from designer brands so first up i have my louis vuitton boots which i'm going to get out of the dust bag um i bought these i want to say like 2016 or 2017 um so these are my louis vuitton boots i can't remember the name of these now i haven't i can't remember what they're actually called they do have a name and i'll i'll try and link these but i don't think they're available from louis vuitton anymore you'd probably have to try and get these second hand if you wanted them now um but yeah i bought these 2016 or 2017 i still really love them they've got like a buckle on the side which has like a teeny tiny LV on it. That's really the only branding on them. You you would never know that they were Louis Vuitton otherwise. Um, lovely little heel, uh, lace up on the front. Um, they say Louis Vuitton inside, but that's about the only branding on them. But yeah, really, really love these. These were £900 when I bought them. Um, I would completely recommend them. They're really lovely. I don't wear them that much at the moment because... I just haven't worn boots for a really long time. I literally just throw a pair of trainers on every day and don't even think about it. But I'll never get rid of these. I still absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. And yeah, like just a classic in my collection, really. Um, the next pair of designer shoes I have are my Stella McCartney Platform Brogues. Um, these retail for £600. I think you can still get these. These are the high top versions. You can also get like a low top version, which finishes about here. And these kind of all different designs. There's ones with stars on, all different colors and stuff. But these are the classic black with the wood and the white sole. Um, I did not pay 600 pounds for these. I actually got these in TK Maxx for 100 pounds. Um, so I got a really good saving on these. And I do still wear these actually. I love these shoes. I think there's such like a statement piece. I remember, I remember like Kendall Jenner wearing them one time. Not that I'm a particular fan of hers, but just, just I remember when these came out and she had them, and I also had them, and I thought that was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bought these probably 20. I think I did live here, so maybe 2017 as well. Um, yeah, I just found them in TK Maxx. I can't even remember where I was. I want to say like Guildford somewhere. Um, yeah absolutely love these these are great with like a skirt jeans obviously trousers they're actually very easy to style surprisingly um even though there's such like an out there shoe but obviously the colors make them pretty easy to start and i love like the square toe as well always get loads of compliments when i wear these as well so that's always nice okay on to my doc martins obviously i have the classic lace-ups i actually can't even remember what these are called are these the 1600s cannot remember but basically the classic dot marketing boots um with like just the normal sole these are in the matte black not the paint not the patent ones um i think these retail for 120 at the moment i cannot remember if i bought these new or on depop i think i got them new um highly recommend them i again don't particularly wear these that much anymore but i always keep them because they're such a classic shoe and i know like stuff like this just never really goes out of style like even though i don't even though like no they're not like a massive trendy shoe at the moment if you walk out in doc martins it's classic like it's never going to be out of style so always keep these great for festivals <laughs> that's the main place i've worn them i think um but otherwise I find them slightly uncomfortable to wear, but I think that's more just because I haven't actually worn them that much. Um, they did get a good wear around Reading Festival though, so <laughs> that's the most place, that's like the best place that I've worn them. The Doc Martins that do get a lot of wear are my Doc Martin 1460s. I think that's what these are called. Um, so these are the low top ones. Um, basically just these without the high part uh absolutely love these these are the vegan leather ones but i i honestly wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two because my other ones are real leather and i would never know that these were vegan um i got these i think these retail for 120 as well or 110 um but i got them on depop for 60 brand new in the box stuffing still in them 
Um, and both my Doc Martins are a size 4 and they fit perfectly well. Uh, yeah, absolutely love these. These definitely get more wear out of them. I just find these easier to style. They're very me. Look great with jeans and trousers. Um, even with shorts actually. I wear them with my Uniqlo white shorts and they look really cool with a shirt and stuff. So yeah, love these. Big fan. And then last but not least are my Birkenstock sandals which I absolutely adore and cannot wait to wear again without socks. Um, I wear them with socks during the winter and they're surprisingly warm um, but I can't wait to wear them without socks in the spring and summer. These are the Milan Milano style so if you don't have the back strap it's the Arizona and if you do have the back strap it's the Milano. I prefer them with the back strap because I just think it looks more like a complete shoe but I know the Arizonas without the strap are probably one of their most popular sandals that sells I think. Um, but yeah I just prefer it with the back strap I think it just looks more like a completed shoe and also looks a bit better when worn with socks. Um, these, I actually can't remember how much these were. I want to say like 80 or 60 pounds. Um, they're not cheap, but they're completely worth it. Really, really durable, long lasting sandals. I know people that have had Birkenstocks for years and years. I think I got these in 2019. Yeah, I must have got them in 2019. Um, yeah, highly recommend again. I love all my shoes, <laughs> but that's why I've got them. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you took some inspiration from it. Let me know if you also have any of these shoes down in the comments or if I've inspired you to buy any of them, that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.